Hey everyone! Today I wanted to give you some ideas for geeky and or nerdy gifts you can give your friends for the holiday season. So first off, for those who are absolutely new to the whole realm that is geekiness and nerdiness, geeks are more likely to be invested in TV shows and movies. They're your Harry Potter fans, your Star Wars fans, Marvel, that sort of thing. And nerds are essentially more about academics or knowledge itself or Maybe they don't necessarily care for school, but they do care for philosophical discussions or understanding computer systems. Both are wonderful forms of expression. There is a distinction within both of those communities about what's a geek and what's a nerd. And also, just have to add this in, some people say that if you're a dork, you are a combination of the two. I know there are other definitions of that particular word, however, in this case, to be dorky means that you are both geeky and nerdy. So we've distinguished geeky, nerdy, dorky, all that stuff. I want you, as I've mentioned in previous videos, to think about the type of person they are. Are they someone who likes a gift for the sake of a gift? Are they someone who prefers practical items? Are they someone who prefers no gift at all? Keep this in mind. We're going to go through a bunch of ideas for different types of people, both as a person, what do they appreciate? And in regards to this fandom, what do they appreciate? In any case, let's get to it, shall we? Let's say I'm someone who loves Harry Potter. Like, we've had discussions about Harry Potter in the past, and you know this. And you also know that mm, from looking at what I own, from looking at my house or my room or just me as a person, I'm not really interested in always advertising the fact. I like more subtle things. Well, in that case, instead of necessarily getting something that says, I'm a Harry Potter fan, look at me, woo, perhaps get something a little bit more subtle. So if your friend isn't really interested in having a Deathly Hollows necklace or doesn't even really wear jewelry, you can get them references, subtle references. For example, if they're a Slytherin, or even a Gryffindor. As a nice little gag gift, you could get them Slytherin socks for Harry Potter fans. If you don't get the reference, you gotta go back to book two and think over that movie and that book in general and think Slytherin and socks. What do those have in common? If your friend is more of the has the buttons, decorates the mess out of their room with all this beautiful art, Pay attention to who and what they like specifically. So, a, a fair general disclaimer, if they're a Harry Potter fan, that doesn't necessarily mean that they love, want a picture or a poster of Harry Potter himself. Or, if they're a fan of a particular book, let's say they like Order of Phoenix the most. They might not be turned on, they might appreciate, but they might not be turned on to something that is a reference to the first book or the seventh book. It really depends on what their interests are, but that is just a general disclaimer. So if they're a Star Wars fan, but they only like the original, the episodes four through six, they might not be interested in rogue stuff. They might not be interested in The Force Awakens. Same goes for Battlestar Galactica. If they were a Battlestar Galactica fan of the original series or the Reimage series, it's just things to take into consideration. Basically, just pay attention to who they talk about, what they really talk about, and just the general direction they go. So if they're a fan of Mr. Spock, or the original Mr. Spock, Leonard Nimoy, they might not be the biggest fan of Zachary. Um, they might say, hmm, I didn't really care for the new movies. And then if you got 
them something. If you said Star Trek, let me just get you a button that has the uh, Star Trek Beyond movie poster. Can't really help you there. If this person is practical, they only want things that really just suit their everyday needs, but they're also geeky. You get them something like a pen. So my friend has a Captain America pen. Like, let's say your friend is a big fan of Beauty and the Beast, but they don't necessarily want to wear like a yellow gown all the time. You can simply get them rose earrings or a rose necklace. Uh, and it doesn't even have to be the rose within the glass piece if they're, if they're on the simplistic or the simpler side of things. Essentially, if they like the idea of gifts, but they seem to be the type of person who prefers practical over just any sort of gift, Think about the type of things that they own or the things that they gravitate to, and then you can pick and choose. Is there a pen you could give them? Could you give them a paperclip or a household object, like a pizza cutter in the shape of the Enterprise? I've seen this, the, the Enterprise, the ship from Star Trek, there is a pizza cutter out there, and you, it looks just like the ship that it cuts pizza. It's great. It's also practical for the pizza lover. So it doesn't have to be an office supply. It could be a kitchen supply. It could be a bathroom supply. So long as it strikes you as something that's practical, but also something that your friend will get a kick out of. Because then you've hit the jackpot. Now, if your friend is the type of person who has posters and they just can't help but be enamored with the idea of just showing their love for the world. Do they have the space for a poster or a picture or a drawing? Do they have a backpack or a keychain collection that you can add to? Do they like snow globes? Do they appreciate little decorations, little knickknacks, little ornaments? So if your friend loves posters and has a blank space and you know that they're a huge fan of Princess Leia. Find a Princess Leia poster that speaks to you and you know they'll appreciate. There you go, you have your present. If there's someone who loves fashion and you know what size they wear in clothing, you can get them, like I have back at home, a Star Trek belt. It's so cute and I really wish I had it on me right now to show you just how cute it is. It's like comic strips. And then the like the belt buckle part is the insignia. It's very, very awesome. I enjoy that belt so much just because it's such a cool belt. And I can wear it if I really want to. If they're a Harry Potter fan and you know what house they love, get them a tie with that house. Get them a bow or a scrunchie. It's very inexpensive. Uh, you can easily find something online. And then they can like wear a subtle Slytherin reference. Or they have a hair tie that just so happens to be red and gold. And lo and behold, they're a Gryffindor. Now, if they're the type of person who strays away from gifts at all, not even the practical kind, there's a few ways you can go about this. You can possibly get them an inexpensive gift card or just money in general. You could also potentially buy them a ticket to something like Six Flags, Universal, the movies. If they're a fan of Harry Potter and they like Fantastic Beasts, take them out to see that. If they're big on musicals, buy them a ticket to a show. It doesn't have to be extravagant. It could simply be 20 bucks given towards the person and said, take it away, have fun, however you'd like to. And if there's someone who you feel like you want to give them a gift, but you know that they're not going to accept money or that they're going to get flustered if you hand them a gift card for 20 bucks or even 10 bucks. Then consider giving them the gift of quality time. Putting some sort of invitation together, whether that's email, text message, in person, paper, and saying, hi, as part of your holiday gift, I would love to go watch this movie with you, or I want you to show me your favorite episode of The Office, Star Wars, episode, remember. It's technically a movie, but it is called episode four. Whatever it is that you love, I want you to share it with me. And if you know what they love, like you absolutely know they adore Harry Potter, 
or you know without a trace of doubt that they are 100% Battlestar Galactica fans. Then, similar to the share whatever you want, have them share that specific episode. Put together a Hogwarts letter or send a uh, message with the corners cut for the Battlestar Galactica fans to say, Hey, let's watch this. Like, let's just go down and, like, watch some of your favorite episodes, or let's watch the pilot together and see just what it is that makes this show awesome. Now, here's one thing. If your friend is into a very large fandom, if this person you're buying for is, like, in love with Doctor Who or Harry Potter or whatever, consider that they may be a little tired of the obvious signs of the fandom. So maybe instead of giving them a Deathly Hollows keychain, you give your friend a white owl to signify Hedwig, Harry's companion throughout all of his time at Hogwarts. Just just one second, a moment of peace and silence for Hedwig. Because the movie barely acknowledges her passing and she does pass. Okay, so let's say you get them a stuffed plushie of a white owl or a white owl necklace to keep going with this particular line of thought. Or let's say that they're a Percy Jackson fan and they specifically like Annabeth. You could also give them a little owl or you can give them some sort of reference, or you can even buy them a copy of the books if they either, if there's a new version, if there's a book they don't own, if they've only seen the movies and they want to learn more about it. It's very easy to give simple and subtle references. And for fandoms and just TV shows or movies and things of that nature that have been a little overdone in the media's eyes, Sometimes it's more worthwhile to have the subtle references versus the obvious ones that everyone knows. If you love talking geeky, nerdy stuff, I am here for it. Please leave a comment. Let me know. Give this a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great day and stay awesome.